what I will remember. No one has ever introduced me as having a mix of a British, American, and Indian accent. I found that really funny, and I will tell that to my wife today when I see her this evening in Bangalore. Okay. So Dr. Sunil Raj and I have been talking for a long time about coming here to this outstanding engineering college and interacting with the students. So I'm delighted that I could do it today. And I hope, uh, you know, I will speak for a while, and then the ideal thing would be for you to ask some questions. <coughs> So we can have some interaction, and that will make it much richer. Do you agree? Yes. Is that okay? Yes. Sir. So, my speech is not going to address all your questions. All that will probably come out in the Q and A, if that's okay with you. You know, some years ago, uh, I visited a village school. You know what she said? She said, "Sir, I'm not afraid to speak anymore." And suddenly I realized that maybe the real impact of all our interventions. Now it turns out that Uma did very well in science. She topped her school. But the real impact of all the interventions was to spark confidence and self-belief in Uma. She began to believe that she could be worth something. She and that was a big, big moment an insight for me, and I was very happy. I realized that the real clue to transformation is self-belief. If you believe you can do something, if you have that confidence, it may be a small thing. You may make a garland, or you might build a bridge, you might create the new capital of Andhra Pradesh, or you might build a campus, you might create Kupam Engineering College, you might make a great meal, a lunch, or dinner, or breakfast. That's not so important. The act of creation, of getting involved, of doing something, and then believing that, yeah, you know, I'm capable of doing something, is the beginning of leadership. Okay? And that really is, is the real secret, the self-belief. Gandhi understood that very well. His whole focus for Indian independence was Indians must believe they can do it. You know, there was a great educator in Karnataka called Narsimaya. And uh, he passed away some years ago. And I read his obituary. And in that obituary, Narsimaya recounts a story that was written in the obituary that when he was a schoolboy, Gandhi happened to visit his school in Karnataka. And Gandhi looked at him. Gandhi was a busy man, right? He was going from village to village, uh, leading the independence movement. He looked at Narsimaya and said, you look like a leader. And this young boy says, that was the moment he just transformed his self-belief. And he became a leader. He became a great educator. He said, all because of that one moment. So self-belief, I can't overstress. The confidence that you have from within is the most important thing. And any leader, we have leaders. Leadership is such a wide subject. There are leaders of people. There are leaders of ideas. There are leaders in the arts. 